We're about to run through exactly how to make a YouTube banner template for your YouTube channel, just like the ones showing on screen now, in just a few minutes with free software, and then how to make it look good across all devices in this YouTube channel art tutorial. Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video, where we help you amplify your business and brand with video. If you're new here, make sure you click that subscribe button and all the links to everything we mentioned in this video, you can find linked in the description box below. So let's jump into it. Custom channel art for your YouTube channel is an incredibly important piece of branding. One of the first things that potential subscribers see, and it's a powerful way to instantly capture their attention, as well as communicate exactly why your viewers should subscribe. So right now we're gonna step through exactly how to create your own in free software, and they'll also throw in a few tips along the way to make sure that it looks great on all devices. And make sure you stick around to the end because I'll also show you what you need to know to work in a call to action that'll attract new email subscribers that's baked into your channel banner. Now, just before we jump into the actual creating bit, you can use a range of software, both free or paid. But in this tutorial, we're gonna be using Snapper because it's simple, it's free, and the same principles that we're gonna cover, you can apply to pretty much any software out there. Now, just before we get into it, there is a link in the description box below taking you to this page from YouTube, which is talking about the sizing and the requirements and everything for your channel art. And if you scroll down here, you can see that there is a downloadable channel art template that you can use as a guide to help you create your template. Now this is gonna be really important if you're not using the tool that we're using in this walkthrough, Snapper. Snapper actually has this built in. So if you're using Snapper, you won't need to download it, but if you're using any other application, it's a good idea to download this and use it as a guide while you're creating your channel art. Okay, so here we are in Snapper. Now you can start out by creating your graphic and typing in the size 2560 by 1440, or you can actually come down the bottom here and they've already got one set up as a preset, 2560 by 1440. So we'll select on that one. Now in here, there is a heap of different presets that you can use and templates and things that uh, are going to get you up to speed quick. And if you like the look of one of these and you wanna customize up one of these, then definitely by all means, you don't need to start from scratch. And you can see that if we pick one of these, it's gonna be really simple to customize up and to get it set up for you. So we just double click on here and you can see that everything is customizable. Now I'm gonna close out of here because we're not gonna use one of these pre-built ones for this walkthrough. Go create a graphic, go back down to our YouTube channel art and we're going to start from scratch. Now you can see already because we chose YouTube channel art, we've already got that template already showing here. And we can toggle that on and off with the, uh, the little button up here for YouTube safe zone overlay. So this is the whole image that we are working with that we're creating, but you can turn on or off this overlay to help you see what's gonna be shown on each device. So you can see all this area at the top and down the bottom is only gonna be displayed on TVs. This white area is going to be displayed on every device. This next area out here to the side a little bit on either side is the tablet safe area. So they're the things that are gonna show on a tablet right through to this very edge here, which is the maximum desktop safe area. So a desktop browser that is stretched out or maximized to its maximum width, this is where that will display to. So the most important part that we're gonna be focusing on is getting all the important content and text and everything inside this white box because it's gonna be displayed on all devices. Now I'll turn this off and if you're not using Snapper, the first step to do will be to import that YouTube graphic template. So in this case, we'd go to graphics and we would go to upload, upload an image, and we would select that template that we downloaded. Once it's uploaded, we can click on that to add it in. You'll scale it up to the right size. Now you can see that we've got those exact same areas there. Now it would be a good idea to lower the transparency or the opacity on this so that it's not actually getting in the way of your creation, but you can just see it as a guide there in the background. And then before you save out your image, you'll wanna delete or turn this off so it's not visible and not gonna show in your channel art. All right, so because we've already got it built in, I'm gonna delete this layer, I'll just select it, press delete, and then we'll get into creating our channel art. So let's go over to background, we'll pull in a background image or a pattern or something first to add some color into it, a bit of texture. So you can see there's a heap of photos that you can use in here. There's patterns and those sorts of things as well, or you can upload your own. I'm gonna go with a pattern. I'm gonna choose this wooden effect. Now you can scale it up and reposition it if you need to by selecting reposition background. You can move it around. I think it looks pretty good there for what we're going to use it for. I hit apply. Now I wanna come over to effects. Make sure we've got this selected and we're gonna add an overlay color. Now our 
branding is primarily blue, so we want our branding here to look pretty blue. Something around that. Obviously, we can come in here and change the color. We can pick our primal video blue and then adjust the opacity or the, the level of the color that we're overlaying here. Probably want it to the point where it's not distracting, but just something as a bit of texture in the background. Now you can also add a little bit of blur to that as well, just to soften it off a little bit. Next up, you'll probably want to add some text in. Now this is where I would turn that overlay back on so that we can see it. And again, all your text you wanna have in that blue area, that center area. And we're gonna add in some text. So for us, our font is Oswald, bold. Let's type in primal. And if we select on that, we can come up the top to duplicate layer. And that will give us a second copy of it. And we can type in video in this one. I'll probably make both of these a little bit bigger. So let's go I don't know, 85, 85, move it off to the side here. And we'll make these look like our primal video logo. So I'll change the color to white for both of these. And we'll also add in a box around the background of each of them. So to do that, we'll go to shapes. We'll choose a filled in shape. Let's make this one here black. We'll resize it down so that it fits behind it. We'll move that layer back behind the text. So you can see now the text is on top of it and we will reposition the text so that it fits in there and adjust the size of the box so that it fits where we want it. And we'll do the same. We'll select that box and we will come up the top to duplicate. So we've got two of them. Let's put video back. And let's make this one here, our primal video blue. Let's go to popular. There it is saved down the bottom there up our background again we want to drop it down below the text so we'll keep pressing this there we go till it's behind our text change the scale change the sizing so that it all fits and reposition now that's pretty hard to see there at that point so we'll probably darken this background a little bit more so I'll select on the background come up here to effects and we can probably darken this down Cool, so you're still able to see a little bit of that texture in there and if we turn off this layer then that's currently what we're working with doesn't look like much so far all right, so we've got our logo in there so people know where they are, but they need to know what they're actually going to see on this channel. So it's a good idea to write some text about your channel and what people can expect on there. So we'll come back over here to text. Actually, we're gonna duplicate this text. Select our text box here, hit copy or duplicate layer. It's already got our fonts and everything in there. So we'll start with that. Amplify. And then use a separate box, duplicate that one. Now you can also use your keyboard shortcuts to copy and paste. So Control-C or Command-C to copy, Control-C or Command-C to paste. And you've duplicated your layer that way too. Uh, your business and brand with video. So that's our tagline. That's what we create all our video around. And we can resize some of these to make it stand out. Something like that. Let's move that up over the side. Amplify your business and brand with video now we can create to make some of this stand out we could add some more of our branding which our branding is typically like you'll see here this is our logo with plain text with a background color in a box behind it so we create another shape box drop it in select it change the color we'll go to our blue again and let's move it over here behind amplify we will push it down behind our text and resize it up so that it fits. And we we'll use the keyboard arrows to move that around. Amplify your business brand with video. Actually, I might move these across here. So it's just a matter of picking these elements up, moving them around to see what works for you and for your brand or the branding that you're looking for. Maybe I'll center these. All right, so someone is viewing this on their mobile phone, this is what they're going to see. This little section here, they can see our channel name and a bit of a tagline around what we've got. If they're viewing this on a tablet or another device, they're going to see a lot more. If we turn that off, this is what it would look like if they were looking at this on a TV. So there's a heap of extra area in here that you can get more advanced with and do more creative things with. 
And specifically in this area here on desktop, you can actually add a more advanced call to action. Now I'm gonna cover that a little bit later in the video, but you can have clickable buttons that are displayed on your YouTube channel around here that are only visible or only work on your desktop. So by knowing where these safe margins are, you can make sure that you're only including those clickable buttons or references to those buttons in those areas. Again, I'll show you this in just a minute. Now it looks pretty good, but it's still probably a little bit plain, so we could actually add Something else in here, another shape. Let's go another square, drop that in. Let's make it really big. And let's put it about here. And if we drag it down, we get this rotation. So let's drag that around so we're able to create an angled line and make it bigger so that it fills our entire area. So this is what we've currently got now. We're gonna move this behind all our text so it goes right to the back. So now we're able to do something a little bit different that stands out a bit more. So we change the color on this. Dark gray is another one of our colors. Let's go custom and go across to gray, maybe make it a little bit darker, something like that. And we can also drop the opacity on that as well. So we're able to see some of that background come through a little bit in there as well. Okay, so if we were looking at this on TV, you would see this entire area. And on the different devices, you can see that you're now cropping in on that. So super simple, just using a couple of different elements to pull this out and to make it look more engaging for the viewers. And all of this is just super simple. Now, obviously, if you wanna add in other photos and those kinds of things, you can come up here to graphics and you can import them and, and maybe even photos of you, depending on the type of channel that you're creating, it might be a good idea to get your face on here somehow or show pictures or images of things that you cover on your channel. But for this tutorial, we'll leave it here and I'll turn off that safe zone and we're gonna export this and I'll show you how to upload it to your channel. So we'll go download and here you can choose either web optimized JPEG or high res PNG. I'll probably go high res PNG to get the better quality image. We'll go through, it'll generate it, it'll let you download it and you wanna save it somewhere on your computer. Let's go YouTube banner, save it on the desktop. Now you wanna go over to your YouTube channel. I've just got a test account here. Once you log in, go over to customize channel and then at the top of the channel here, you can choose channel art, add channel art. So like a photo from your computer, find the one that we just made, YouTube banner. And this gives you a preview of what this looks like on the desktop, on TV and on mobile. Now, if you do wanna crop in, which you probably don't need to if you followed this process, but you can also resize and reposition things in here as well. So we're back out of that and hit select and then you can see we've got our channel art added in there. Now, if you're using YouTube to grow your business, then your channel art can be a great place to work in a call to action to a lead magnet or even to an email subscribe button. On desktop mode and only on desktop mode, YouTube lets you add in a custom link with a title right under the channel art. So if you get a little creative, you can work in a simple call to action that'll draw a lot more attention to that call to action. But the key to remember when doing this is that the links only appear in desktop mode. So you wanna make sure that your call to action fits inside the range for desktop, but outside the range for mobile if possible. Now, if you stuck around for that last part, then you already know the value of growing an email list for your business. And YouTube is an incredibly powerful platform for growing an email list. Our email list grows by over 30% of our new YouTube subscribers each month completely organically. If you wanna learn how to maximize your email list using YouTube, we've put together some free training stepping through how to set the whole thing up, which is linked on screen right now. And I'll see you soon.